officers responded to a complaint of uh, Mr. Cackney Matthews, a resident in uh, our community, of harassing his neighbors. Uh, the officers uh, went to the location, they investigated the allegations, and charges were signed against Mr. Matthews that evening, uh, charging him with bias and intimidation and harassment. Uh, those charges were put in front of a judge. The judge decided that they should be on a summons. So that evening, uh, Mr. Matthews was released, uh, and the, it led to social media picking up on those videos that began circulating. Uh, you know, how many of us could show the restraint that this gentleman did, and he didn't deserve that. None of the residents in this um, development deserve that. Nobody should ever feel unsafe or intimidated or discriminated against in their own house and in their own town and in their own county. And it's truly outrageous, and I totally understand why the protesters were here today. What's going on, YouTube? It's Jay Coffee Talk tapping back in, man. And you guys see this total jackass, racist piece of garbage be escorted to the jail. And everyone, hit the comments. Let me know what you guys think about this. Let's break it down. Let's discuss it below. Um, I just saw this footage as I believe this video came out a couple days ago. It was going viral. And it was absolutely ridiculous, ludicrous. This, this guy screaming racial slurs um you know what i mean just he's trying to cry now that he's not racist we'll talk about that in a second but he's just screaming at this family um saying call the police nothing's gonna happen he kept saying something about this was this is private property the police have no jurisdiction i don't know what the fuck that was all about and after the police arrived too if you guys saw that video um he seemed to know the police the police was saying, keg me, go away, I'll talk to you later, or whatever. And that was very disturbing and confusing to me, you know what I mean? Because he was flat out, from my take on the video, once again, guys, you comment and let me know your thoughts below. But he was threatening this this family. He was saying things about, pretty. to me, it sounded like he was saying, get up out of here, you know, calling them racial slurs, saying something along the lines of the last family got their their window shot out with shotguns or something of that nature you know threatening them with violence that that's what it sounded like to me that he was basically telling them we'll run you out of this neighborhood that's what happened to the last people do you want to stay do you want that to happen to you and i was shocked i couldn't believe it you know what i mean and there's a lot of people out there that that do that type of shit all the time i say i couldn't believe it i mean I believe it because there's there's a there's a lot of people like that who just treat people like shit with no fear of repercussions. But I just still see it. I'm like, man, I can't believe this shit. You know what I mean? But you heard what that cop said. They brought the guy in. He got a summons, an appearance ticket to come back to court. And they said something about um, being charged with some kind of intimidation and harassment. Uh, they're probably some petty ass misdemeanors. You know what I mean? Which sucks. This guy should, in my opinion, pay for what he did and, and you can tell what he's been doing to um other people in that neighborhood that's what was made clear to me by that footage that i saw by that video that i saw but then they he goes home on the summons in social media the power of social media he feels it full force as you saw that footage there um they said the judge said okay maybe we need to bring the guy back in i bet this guy's bitch ass was in there calling the police saying please come take me away arrest me and personally i hope it doesn't stop there i mean i don't want anyone to get in trouble for fucking with this guy and i, I don't ever want to encourage anyone to to hurt anyone or anything you know what i'm saying jay coffee talk don't rock like that but i just hope it becomes very uncomfortable life does for this guy where he has to move where he has to move you know what i mean because you could tell that he clearly felt very very comfortable about what he was doing and had no problem with it and getting back to what he's saying now talking about oh i might not be able to relate to people of color I, I believe that's what he said that he may not be able to relate to people of color and he's made mistakes but he's not a racist come on spare us the bullshit spare everybody the bullshit you know what i mean you it was very clear in that video um how how this guy is how he feels you know now he's trying to play 
the victim he made a mistake no sir you're a piece of shit that you you know you harass people for whatever reason that's another thing from that video now you know you never know what happened before the video but obviously there's no reason for that guy to to act like that but based on what i saw in that video it didn't seem like anything that happened to me it seemed like he was making it his business to fuck with that guy just like that other video of the army drill instructor we were talking about that on a live stream recently where he was harassing that one guy uh in the neighborhood and um you know he later got arrested and there was people trying to make up stories about the guy just going for a walk did something or something i i don't buy it for a second and we never heard nothing else of it because at the end of the day there's a lot of people out there that live in a neighborhood or whatever and they make it their business to fuck with people on on some racist ish on some judgmental ish on some just you know nosy be all up in someone else's business ish there's just a lot of people out there that fear feel comfortable treating people like shit you know what i'm saying so i like i said i just saw this video i had saw something about it a day or two ago but i didn't actually get to like watch the video but I, I seen some people reacting to it and then when i did watch the video i was like what in the fuck is this this guy is a piece of shit now you see how he is uh, uh ashamed of himself trying to make up lies or whatever fuck this guy you feel me that's um the power like how i bring this up from time to time how so often the negative of social media gets brought into question you know um which there is a lot of negative things about social media but there's a lot of good things that can come of it too you know as we see here this guy isn't going to be able to go on treating people like shit like this no more you know put his bitch ass on blast edward cagney matthews um but i don't know guys hit the comments i just was reacting to this uh you know real quick let me know what you guys uh think about this the original video what's going on now uh what your take was on everything across the board let's discuss it all below take that moment subscribe to the channel j coffee talk daily content music news sports current events life and much more thanks for watching guys have a great day and i'm gone peace